Now you have done 250 concerts a year. How was it to see Gwen and Akon tonight? Well, front row, seeing Gwen Stefani, amazing. Akon, hey, MGZ. How are you doing? Right, MGZ, no, happy? it's so nice of me to <laughs> smack that. What is somebody with experience? Somebody with class? Somebody with the innate charm you need to interview celebrities? Okay, so we went with Michaela Gordon. Take a look. Hey, you guys, we're here out on the red carpet. So, who do you think is going to win? <laughs> well, look, I've got the two judges here, and you look really amazing. Probably, you want to say anything? You look beautiful yourself. Are you excited? Girl, I'm so excited. Sam, you don't want to say anything? Thank you. And and it's been really just amazing. Even though I was born way up before the British invasion, <laughs> Matt wasn't. So he was there to help me out. Either way, the songs were great, and I think the competitors did an awesome job. And how cute was Lulu? Very. Love her. And Matt and I got to stand backstage to talk to a few of those celebrities like Lulu to see how they felt about the show and performances. I really thought everybody did so well tonight. Spice things up, and I like it spicy. Mm -hmm. You know, most people look to their horoscopes to find out if they're going to have a good day or a bad day. Here at Idol, a hairstylist Dean Benowitz looks to the astrological signs to see what kind of hair day it's going to be for the contestants. I recruited actress and singer Michaela Gordon from American Idol to help us expose the very dangerous situations young women are willing to put themselves in, all in the pursuit of fame. I'm with Michaela and Nick right now. So, Michaela, I know that you've actually been in a dangerous situation yourself, a very, very dangerous situation. So did you relate to these women? I did. I really related to them. My heart really did break. It's, we're genuine and it's so unexpected. And Jordan and Blake were so cute. We got to talk to them last night, so let's take a look. How did you feel about your performances tonight? I felt really good about my performances. I mean, I gave it all I could give. I would have to pick Jordan because, you know, I, I think that the contest is about singing. They're both winners, and I, I know it sounds politically correct, but they're both going to have wonderful careers. I don't think I can pick one. I mean, I, I like both for different reasons. I love them both. I don't know. We'll see. I'm sorry, man. Do it. I'm, I don't know. I'm amazed. <laughs> What's going on? Is this my life? Where am I? I love you so much. Get out of here. I'm an animal. <laughs> With David Cook's music teacher, Miss Gentry, how does it feel to have one of your students as one of the top two finalists on American Idol? I feel good! The crowd was on their feet all night long, and this whole week I've practiced my own country accent. I like it, and they say that country singers do really well on Idol, and last night some of the contestants put their own little stamp on things, huh? I reckon you're right, so let's see what some of the celebs had to say about the show. Are they being fair? Are they being a little bit harsh? I'm just going to say it, Simon. I thought you were a little off, having an off night. You know. <laughs> I'm here with Jesus. Happy Easter. What advice would you give to the contestants? And I'm just going to shine like a big, shiny, bright, crystal diamond bird. That was really good.